This is the Great Games version of Don't Let It Die with art by the great Sam Milham. This is a, we're very bumbly, uh, error prone group of Neanderthals trying to just not die. It's hard. It's a hard <laughs> life out here. <laughs> So we have four Neanderthals. We have all selected our characters already. Um, we have. So what we will be doing is taking, we will be taking turns spending our stamina, uh, which is listed under our characters here, on performing different actions throughout the day. Uh, we're gonna have three main phases. The day phase, the night phase, and the morning phase. The day phase is where we're gonna be spending stamina on uh, going out and foraging uh, for different resources. We can gather for rocks or wood, harvest for m more rocks or wood, but there's more danger out there. Or we can go out hunting, which the most dangerous beasts live out in the dark forests. Mm -hmm. uh, so we, you need a weapon to be able to go and hunt because we can't just run out there with our fists. Things are way too mean and saber-toothed. Uh, harvesting requires a tool uh, because that's just what you need to do to get more resources. Okay. Um, and this is our fire pit here in the middle. Uh, as you see, we have three wood on it. We're going to need to be adding more wood as uh, we go on uh, to make sure that this fire pit never loses all of its wood. If it loses all of its wood, we lose, we let it die, and that's game over. That's what the game title says not to do. Exactly. Um, and if we look up here at the scoreboard, um, we start on day phase one. Uh, this little day token is tracking that. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you look over here, we have wood one. That means that every night or every morning, uh, one wood is going to come out of the fire until our day moves down to day four. And then two wood is going to start coming out of our fire pit every morning. Oh no! All the way eventually to day 14, where... Uh, you see, we have an X, that means we lose. So if it comes to morning of day 14 and we don't have um, this fire starter discovery unlocked, then we lose. What's a fire starter discovery? Yeah. I'll what tell is you. that? I'll tell you. Thanks for asking, Kyle. Please tell me. <laughs> I'm so dying. This is know. our tech tree. So this is our main, this is our learning, our discoveries about the fire. So the whole premise is. Uh, we are four Neanderthals. We're a, we're a, a nice tribe. We're all uh, we're not smart, but you know we get the job done. Uh, we discovered uh, fire after lightning has hit a tree close by, and after poking and prodding it and getting a little burnt, we decide this is kind of cool. We need to figure out what this is and how do we make this again. Um, so this is represented in our fire knowledge tree. We'll be learning. We'll start up here at uh, crafting one. Uh, we are actually doing the normal plus knowledge tree this time. Uh, okay. There's four different difficulties. Easy, normal, normal plus, and hard. Uh, so this is just a variation on the normal difficulty. Uh, but we will start up in uh, the top left, which is crafting one. Uh, once we unlock that, if you look there, you've got three fires. Mm -hmm. uh, that means that we need three fire tokens on here to unlock it. Once we do have three tokens on here, we can go ahead and unlock this. And that means we now know how to do crafting one. Um, and what that means is we get to look at all these different items here. And we and can we make can craft stuff. them. Their requirements are at the bottom of the cards. Um, you can look through these, craft any of the ones that you want. Uh, there are two of each of them. If you ever are required to like lose them or they break or anything like that, uh, they are out of the game and you can't make them anymore. So you got two. So just make sure that... We're not ab abusing them. Cool. All right. And then we, uh, after we would unlock that, um, every arrow uh, going out, we would now then be able to check the next uh, discovery and see if we can start place placing new fire discoveries on this. Um, the way that it works is if there are two arrows pointing at a discovery, those discoveries with those arrows pointing at it need to be unlocked first. So as we go along Unlock our tree stuff. here, let me show you an example of uh, so we right here, perfect. We can't just rush all the way down one side? Nope, you can't. Baloney, this game is garbage. You cannot, good sir. So in this case here, 
Um, if we had these two, we couldn't place anything on warmth one yet because we still have an arrow pointing down here from resource one. So we would have to unlock resource one and then we could start placing on warmth one. Got it. Everybody got it? Every arrow is a prerequisite. Yes, sir. We know about characters. Um, all of our characters have different abilities, some passive, some active. Um, uh, my character is Nibna. So I start off with seven HP and I have six stamina. Uh, and my abilities are when I have one health, when I eat food, it heals me for double once per day. So if I get down to one HP, I can eat me some meat or some berries and it'll heal me for double. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and the way that that works is, a little player reference card will tell you actually. Yeah. <clears throat> so on the free actions, let's go over, uh, th these are going to be all of our player actions available during the day phase. Uh, so uh, we've got free actions of eating food. <clears throat> so I can eat three raw berry tokens for one health. Or I can eat two raw meat tokens for one health. Mm -hmm. Or if we cook the meat or the berries, which we unlock from our fire knowledge discovery tree, uh, you can eat two cooked berries for two health or one cooked meat for two health. So cooking it just increases its efficiency and you can eat less of them for more HP. Uh, you can also add wood to the fire pit, uh, which we start with three on, we showed that. Um, and then you can spend fire knowledge or FKP on the fire knowledge tree. Um, anybody can do that at any point. Full free. Full free. Um, we can also keep them in our resources because they can be used for trading other things, just like uh, we'll, we'll get into that action yeah. right here. Trade with a nearby tribe. We can trade three of any resources, including fire knowledge points, uh, for one of any resource. Uh -huh. um, and then you can spend one stamina to cook food um, once it's been unlocked, um, and that just means flipping it over. So if you've got a meat token and you want to cook that, you just go ahead and flip it over to the cooked meat side. Aha! Uh -huh. fire's on fire. That works with the meat, the berries, you can cook them. Cool. And if we were using Ugmo, you can cook the fish as well. Ugmo is the only one who can catch the fish, though. Yeah, he, he, he's the only one that figured out how to catch fish. Okay. Um, and then we have more. We got two stamina actions, uh, which include foraging and gathering, uh, which are just drawing one card from the resource decks. That's up here. Whoops. Pow! Resource, forage, or gather. <laughs> Two. Um, or you can do three stamina to draw the harvest or the hunt cards. Um, and oh. they require... There we go. These guys require a weapon to hunt and a tool to harvest. Otherwise, right. you cannot draw from them. Got it. Um, the other three stamina actions are investigating the fire. So this is how you get fire knowledge points. You go ahead and you take your uh, fire die, which has a uh, blank, uh, three ones, a two, and a three. You roll that and you take whatever uh, fire number you land on in fire, no fire knowledge points, which are these guys here. Got it. Or you can craft an item if you've got the listed resources below it, and it's available. And yeah. you have three stamina. Yeah, and like you've unlocked that. And that you've unlocked crafting. And if it's a building, which, okay, in crafting three, we can start unlocking different buildings. You can only have one building per game, but it's a super powerful ability. Like this one, you no longer lose health during the morning phase. So Eric has that ability, mm. which is just innate with him. He's got, he's got that as a passive. But we could build this so we could all not take that damage if we wanted. But there's other different ones, too. That's right. Yeah. It's the power of the green beard. Green beard. Uh, that's that's basically everything for the day phase. Um, after the, everybody has completed, spent all their actions, and we've gone through the turns, uh, we will go ahead and draw a night event card. Oh, it's this one. A rainstorm came in over the night, and the torrential downpour is threatening to ruin some of your firewood. If any character has at least one stamina left over from the day phase, they are able to save the wood. Otherwise, remove one wood from the fire pit. This is actually a really, really bad card. This is one of the worst night events that you could get. 
Um, so that's awesome that I drew that. We're gonna shuffle that yeah, back yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. Great to example that card that's near the bottom. So let's put that right back on top. Right back let's on put top. That right on the bottom of the deck, and don't bother shuffling. Yeah, great stuff. Great stuff. Wow, chat is cheating already. <laughs> um, and then after the night phase, uh, we go ahead and go to the morning phase, which is basically the cleanup phase for the next day. Uh, we remove the wood count from the fire pit. Um, so on day one, we remove one pit or one from the pit. We would increase the day to day two. Um, each character is going to take one damage, and then we refresh our max stamina or refresh our stamina up to our max stamina. Uh, we can trade any items that we want. Um, so if between I wanted each to, other, between each yeah. other, if I wanted Kyle to have my bag, this is the only point where oh, I can give it thanks. to him. No, no, I don't. If I did, <laughs> actually, no. No. <laughs> Maybe later. I would uh, never. And I'm then you pass the now. first player token, which is this badass little 3D fire pit, to the next player who starts the next day. Yay! But that's not right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we go back to the day phase, and we repeat that until we die a horrible, gruesome, prehistoric, gory death from a saber-toothed beaver, or... The our fire runs out of wood, or day it. fourteen comes or night fourteen comes and we don't have uh, the fire discovery, fire starter discovery unlocked. Or we don't repeat because we've unlocked fire starter and we win. Yeah. Or we have all died and we can't com compete anymore. Why you got Why you got to be so negative? I'm just throwing out all the ways we can lose. There's a lot. There's a lot. We have very rarely won this game. It's 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 hard. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to spend more time with us, do us a favor. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly, head on over to twitch.tv slash bnbtabletop and give us a follow there. We play board games live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time on a show we call The Board and Barrel. And we like to keep things interactive. You guys can influence what happens throughout the course of a game with our buff and nerf house rules. You can also make predictions on how things are going to pan out, play virtual bingo for a chance to win a free board game of your own, and heckle us and stuff from the chat. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you Sunday night.